As I think back to the, the origins of the, uh, the youth band, gosh, it's going to go back six, seven years ago. Education is paramount for the, uh, the station, and we are much more than just a, a radio station. We're an enterprise. We believe in this music. We believe in developing the audience of the, of the future. We believe in developing the, the arts fans of the, uh, of the future. And the youth band plays a role in all of that. It's about camaraderie. I think that there's a lot to be gained by working this closely with a, a group of musicians. It's about being a member of a team, of a collective group of individuals, and it's about musicianship. And I think the way you get better at what you do is, is by doing it more often and actually playing with people that might know more than you. And uh, we've got a group of very talented individuals in the, in the youth band, but I think they learn from one another. And then also leadership is important. Jules is the, is the, the leader of the, the, the orchestra, a very talented individual, and I think he keeps raising the bar higher at the appropriate times for the, for the band so that they have more goals to achieve. I was a kid growing up, we didn't have a, an opportunity like this and it's a marvelous thing that these kids, like-minded as they are, can come together each week, rehearse and perform together throughout the year. We had approximately 18 hours of auditions. We had kids coming in every 15 minutes for 18 hours, great deal of interest and it really is a, a, it's a hard day because you're always pulling for every kid that walks through the door to do a good job and to uh, do the best they can in their audition. I first heard about uh, the Jazz FM Youth Big Band uh, just this past summer when I was at Interprovincial Music Camp. My drummer friend Dan Gret, who's the, one of the two drummers for the uh, band this year, he told me about the Jazz FM Big Band and I thought it would be a great opportunity for me to audition and try out for it. I was doing the little concert that all the combos do at Humber um, at the Rex we were playing and the Jazz FM Youth Big Band was also playing there. And I just remember hearing them and saying, this is incredible that people that aren't too much older than me are doing all this, and I thought I have to be in that. So that was the first time I found out about it, and it left quite an impression on me. I really wanted to uh, play in a big band. I'd never done it before, and um, I used to listen to a lot of big bands, like old school songs from like Frank Sinatra and stuff like that, and I really liked the music. And, um, it, I, I wanted to get my reading better too, so big band arrangements really are helping me with that. I first heard about the Jazz FM big band through my school. My band teacher sent a flyer to all the students who were interested in jazz. And I auditioned last year when I was in grade 10 and I didn't get in. And then this year I auditioned again and I got in and I'm really glad I did because it was really fun. It's a big commitment. Uh, we have mandatory rehearsals, so uh, every week they're expected to be here. And uh, we start at 4.30 and we go to 7.30 every Saturday night, and, uh, which is hard for a teenager because they like to be out on their Saturday nights and have that to themselves. So it really shows the commitment that these kids make to the program. The commitment involved in being in the Jazz FM Youth Big Band is quite a large commitment, but you learn things that you will, you will need for the rest of your life if you continue in music and other studies. You have to be able to know how to be on time, how to be prepared, and you learn very valuable life goals due to the commitment and all the rehearsals you are in. Oh, it's definitely worth it coming every Saturday to Jazz FM Studio. You get to play with people your age that are interested in the same stuff as you. Um, it improves you as a musician and it's just it's fun as well. So the commitment is worth it just based on who you meet and who we get to play with as a group. Um, and also just the sound that comes out of it. Being able to, after I've worked on a piece so diligently at all these rehearsals, to just hear it come out so beautifully and so perfect and amazing. It's just to see the transformation from getting a song that's so rough and needs so much work and then at the end you're at a concert with someone amazing who's playing with you and it's just a great feeling to get to see that transformation. So. 
through the Jazz FM youth big band program, the kids uh, get an opportunity to develop the skills they're going to need to be a professional musician. Um, and that's a really important thing because in their school programs they may not have that opportunity. Throughout the course of the year we have some of the foremost Canadian musicians and educators come in and work with the kids. Uh, we spend a night or two over the course of the year workshopping uh, their music and offering the master classes. It's way different to express yourself in a bigger environment of musicians than in a small group like um, you sort of have to hold yourself back and uh, just look at the charts and just catch little shots and set them up. Uh, not as in like a small group where you're just improvising and expressing yourself mostly. One thing that Jazz FM got me doing a lot was improvising in the big band setting. Having to play with the rhythm section and then play with background figures too and it's really helped me develop as a soloer. Also in terms of sight reading it's really helped me get my sight reading chops up and play in a lot of different styles such as Latin swing, up-tempo swing and it's really helped me articulate, do all the like aspects of it that I would not know how to do before Jazz FM. In terms of comping as a piano player, I mean it's so much different comping with a big band than it is with a combo because you have to keep in mind the horn section, will this work here, what are the horns doing there, so it's really just different. So we've had alumni from the group continue their studies in music at the University of Toronto, McGill, Humber College, the New England Conservatory, and the Berklee College of Music. And we'll follow their careers with great interest. Over the last four years, the uh, kids have had the opportunity to do some really exciting concerts. Uh, last year we did a Sound of Jazz concert with Bucky Pizzarelli. We're really looking forward this year to working with Lou Tobacken. Um, local musicians, we performed with Kelly Jefferson, Brian O'Kane, and um, we performed at the Rex Hotel, the Train Studio, and of course all the Jazz Lives concerts in the past. I'm the uh, CEO of the, of the station, of the, of the Jazz FM 91 Enterprise, and a goodly portion of my uh, life is, is uh, spent as an administrator, so it could be working on a business plan for the next fiscal or managing some crisis. Ultimately, it's all about the music, but there are days, to be honest, there are days that go by where music is not high uh, in, in terms of the, the things that you're managing that day. And every once in a while, you feel like you've lost your compass. And our youth band is one of those ways that I get, I become reconnected to what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. When I see them on stage, it, uh, jazz lives, and they're part, and they hold their own. Randy Brecker also performing on the bill, and Al Jarreau, and, and Karn Allison. I think that's an event that they'll take with them for the rest of their lives, being around musicians of, uh, of that stature. Bucky Pizzarelli is a perfect example. When I sat in the audience and watched him high-five guys on the, on the bandstand after they had soloed, once again, this is something they're going to take with them for the rest of their lives. It's a real gift for me to be able to come in and work with these students every week. They have a, sh a shared vision of what they've come to accomplish. The social environment around here is always at the very beginning when everyone's new and they're, it's pretty uncomfortable, it's pretty, a, lot of, a little bit of tension between everyone because everyone's nervous, no one, not a lot of people know each other. But give it a couple weeks and everyone just really gets to know each other. We're all friends, we all play the music we love and it's just great coming every Saturday and just seeing all of the familiar faces and just making inside jokes with each other. It's really, it's really good friendships we gathered. Uh, during the breaks and stuff, people are playing and jamming together. Last year, I was younger than the average person in the band and everyone still included me just fine and it was uh, really nice for me to be able to talk with these older people and to hear what they thought about music. Throughout the past three years, I've consistently gone out with a lot of the um, Jazz FM youth big band. I was like friends on Friday nights to go listen to jazz in the clubs. It's just a fun environment and great vibes and nobody's rude and nobody's like, oh, like that person can't play. Everybody is super supportive no matter what you do. The best moment playing in the big band has definitely been the Bucky Pizzarelli concert. He's a guitar player and I'm a guitar player as well so 
having the two guitar players in a big band was a really cool uh, musical setting. So my most significant memory, I would say, when we went to a trip to King Carden, it was near the end of the year and I was, I felt really confident as a trumpet player. And it really, I guess it showed because a member of the band came to and told me that like, wow, that is the way that a fourth trumpet player should play. And I felt so confident, it was so great, and I had so much fun on the trip anyway. Even like outside of playing, just having fun with the whole group and going to the beach and yeah, it was a great time. I think that one of my greatest memories in the Jazz FM Youth Big Band was last year we played at Jazz Lips and we're going to be playing there again this year. But uh, that was amazing because it's us and then all these amazing other musicians, jazz musicians that we all look up to so much. Like there was Randy Brecker, Joey DeFrancesco, Aldero. It was unbelievable. So many great people. And they were all so nice. Uh, Aldero, he talked to us for a little bit. So did Randy Brecker. It was, it was wonderful. And I had a really great time listening to them and talking to them. So my first year, it was the end of the first year in, my, in the Jazz FM, I was playing Barry Sax. I never got to solo because I, I wasn't that great at soloing at the time. And finally, Jules, our director, he's like, Chris, you have a solo, we're playing a blues. And we're playing um, downtown at the TD Jazz Festival in the summer. And so I thought my time had come up, so I stand up all proud and start playing my, my solo. And then I realized it was not my solo. It was everyone else was playing and I was just standing up and Andrew, the guitar player, he was playing a solo, he's looking at me, what are you doing, Chris? And I was like, so embarrassed and that was probably my most cherished moment with the band. I've been in broadcasting now for uh, 35 years and so I've had an opportunity to work at a, a number of broadcast outlets in both radio and, uh, and TV and uh, I have to tell you as, as a student of all of this what we do with the youth, youth band comes from the heart. This is something that is uh, near and dear to every member of the staff here at the, at the radio station. There's no lip service here. This is part of who we are as a, uh, as a radio station. This is part of who we are as, a, uh, as an enterprise. Thank you.